Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you, and welcome to, Exploring Islamic Teachings, Insights for New Converts, on AMU TV. I'm Ismet, and I'm thrilled to be your host for this enlightening journey into Islam. I'm here to provide you with valuable insights into the beautiful religion of Islam, tailored especially for new converts. Converting to Islam is a profound and transformative experience, and we understand that it can also come with questions and uncertainties. Our goal is to provide you with a supportive and informative platform to help you navigate this new path. Whether you've recently embraced Islam or are simply curious about the faith, we're here to guide you through its fundamental teachings, rituals, and practices. In this introductory episode, we'll cover some of the basics of Islam, starting with the five pillars of Islam, which form the foundation of our faith. In this introductory episode, we'll delve into some of the fundamental aspects of Islam, beginning with the five pillars of Islam. These pillars serve as the bedrock of our faith, guiding us in our daily lives and spiritual journey. The five pillars are a set of five core practices that are essential for every Muslim to uphold. They are the foundation upon which our faith stands. Let's break them down one by one, shall we? The first pillar is the Sahada, which is the declaration of faith. Ilaha. Illa Allah. Wa ashadu. Anna. Muhammadan. Rasulullah. It's the simple yet profound statement that there is no God but Allah, and Muhammad is his messenger. The Sahada affirms your belief in the oneness of God and the prophethood of Muhammad, peace be upon him. It's not just a statement but a lifelong commitment to this belief. The second pillar is Salah, which represents the ritual prayers that Muslims perform five times a day. These daily prayers are a direct link between you and Allah. They serve as a means of seeking guidance, forgiveness, and connection with the Divine. The third pillar is Zakat, the act of giving to charity and helping those in need. Zakat reflects our commitment to social justice and the welfare of the less fortunate. By giving a portion of our wealth, we contribute to a more equitable societe. The fourth pillar is Psalm, which refers to fasting, particularly during the holy month of Ramadan. Fasting is a powerful spiritual practice. It not only teaches self-discipline and empathy for those who are hungry but also brings us closer to Allah through increased devotion and reflection. The fifth and final pillar is the Hajj, the pilgrimage to the holy city of Mecca. Hajj is an incredible journey of faith undertaken by Muslims, at least once in their lifetime if they are physically and financially able. It symbolizes unity and equality among believers. These five pillars are not just rituals but a way of life for Muslims. They guide our actions, remind us of our faith's core principles, and strengthen our connection to Allah and the global Muslim community. Whether you're a new convert or someone seeking to deepen your understanding of Islam, these pillars will be a central part of your journey. They are your compass, guiding you toward a more fulfilling and spiritually rich life. In our upcoming episodes, we'll explore the six core of beliefs that define Islam and its rich history and culture. So, stay with us on this incredible journey as we continue to explore Islamic teachings and offer support and guidance for your path in Islam. Wassalamu alaikum.